Lamperty at the station sessions with Scoundrels. So tell me, what makes you Scoundrels? Are there any tales you could tell me? Uh, Are you well, the scandalous? No, <laughs> I'm no. I'm merely the bookkeeper. I'm the accountant of the group. Okay, so tell me about those hits. Your music's been defined as fifties blues. Would you say you, you went along with that? Would you agree with that? Yes. Yeah. It certainly is. We we took a trip out to Louisiana for a couple of months, and that sort of inspired us quite a lot to go down that path. I guess. Yeah. And whereabouts are you from? Are you from London? Is London integral to your sound as well? Uh, I'm from Salisbury, so no. <laughs> Not you then. <laughs> Who's from London? Is anyone from London? Is, is, I mean, we've got a, definitely a very British sound, but we got lots of the Louisiana and sort of Louisiana and stuff. And the, the reason why we were sent there is because a guy called Seymour Stein had got into us and and thought that he had sort of heard a little bit of that and thought we could develop it out there and and sort of take on a few of the American sort of elements that we love, but also retain the sort of Britishness of it. So you were signed by Blue Horizon, how's that affected your music? It's pretty inspiring, because it's a label that all of us knew about really well since we were, I mean, God, really young. And uh, bands like Fleetwood Mac, Pete Green, you know, Pete Green's a big hero for all of us. And so to be on a label that he was on and it is pretty inspiring, it's pretty amazing. The roster speaks for itself. Really. Hello, we are Scoundrels and we are going to play for you. Just can't see it through.
Thank you very much. Good evening, St. Pancras.